My name is Nari Sol, and today we're going to go over some ways to sound like Claude Debussy. Now, of course, it goes without saying that to cover the details of his genius in a video like this is pretty absurd, but here are just a few practical ways that help me understand his music and also allow me to imitate at least the surface layer of his style. Let's first take the melody. and add more space around the notes to create an atmospheric vibe. Next, let's add in arpeggiated harp-like cascades. accompanied with a resonant bass line that often accentuates a perfect fifth at the bottom. Linger on tonal centers and generally avoid using functional cadences. An example of this is to use chords with tritones in them, such as dominant chords, without resolving them. Make use of tremolos to add tension. Include a lot of rhythmic variation in a fluid manner. Also, use spaced out syncopated lines to have an ambiguous sense of pulse at times. Move chords and gestures with parallel movement. Use scales such as the whole tone and pentatonic scales, as well as different types of modes. Also include bell-like rings that add to the atmosphere of the music. And last but not least, use textures and timbres that create an air of ambience and an imaginative mood. And 
And without further ado, here's Happy Birthday in the style of Claude Debussy. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're interested in the PDF of this version of Happy Birthday, it'll be available on my website, where you can also find my book of modified Chopin exercises and other sheet music. Anyway, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.